Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here today to talk about diversity and diverse reading. So I want to try and read more diverse books this year and this is just because a lot of the books published near me are English because I live in England and America because America is just everywhere. So <laughs> Um, I do still want to read a lot of British books because I am British and, you know, I'm not of an age yet where I can say I'm done with British authors, I've read enough. Uh, I don't think I'll ever feel like that. So I'm not going to try and cut down on my English reading, but I'm going to try and, you know, do better on my diverse reading. Now, that won't be too difficult because I haven't read very diversely. Uh, the last couple of months but that was because I literally finished uni and was like I had to read specific books for uni now I can pick up wherever I want and I'm gonna so yeah I did that and now I just want to kind of you know try and keep track of what I'm reading and try and make sure I am reading things that are from different places so I have a sort of TBR for the year of probably the first half of the year of like diverse reads that I want to be reading this year. So I'm going to show them you. Okay. So the first book is I Am Malala. This is by Malala Yousaf and this is a girl from Pakistan. So I want to read this book because number one it's non-fiction and I'm trying to read more non-fiction this year. Number two she is quite clearly a feminist because she's standing up for women's education and I want to read more feminism books this year. And number three, she's from Pakistan. And I want to read more diverse books this year. So this is really hitting quite a few of the uh, targets. So we'll definitely be reading this soon. Next uh, diverse books I want to read is two books by the same author. But two books that have been recommended very, very highly. So that is The Vegetarian and Humex by Han Kang. Han Kang is a female author from South Korea who moved to Seoul, I think it was. And yeah, I've wanted to read this one for ages because I'm a vegetarian and I feel like you don't get many books about vegetarians, so you have to read it when they come about. And this one I've just heard a lot of good stuff from BookTube about, so I'll pick this one up too. So I want to get to these pretty soon. They're both really small, so I think I will definitely read these soon. Next. Uh, I would like to read a book by a man whom everyone seems to have read one of except me and it is Haruki Murakami. I have Norwegian Wood by Murakami so I intend to read this this year. He is a Japanese author and this is kind of centred around a Beatles song which isn't my favourite thing to my mum's disapproval so yeah but I have heard some really good things about him and I would like to try him so this year is going to be the year for that. Then this is a book I've wanted to read for so long and I got it for my birthday so I want to read it this year and it is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. He is a Russian author and yeah basically I want to try and read classics from different countries so one of my favourite classics in the world is Count of Monte Cristo and that's a French classic. So I feel like maybe other countries' classics are the way to go. And yeah, I mean I'm not gonna lie, the main reason I want to read this is because of all the Lana Del Rey references in her songs to Lolita and this book. And I adore Lana, she's like my favourite person, my definitely my favourite artist in the world. So yeah definitely want to read this. I've heard it's going to be a very very uncomfortable read because of the story. I do know a little bit about the story and it does sound like it is going to be a bit horrendous but uh, an important one I think so I want to read that. Then I would like to read The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassini. Now I have already read A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hassini but I've read it when I was about 14 so I can kind of remember it but not massively. Khaled Hassini was born in Kabul in Afghanistan so that is a diverse read and 
The kite runner is about 12 year old Amir is desperate to gain the approval of his father and resolves to win the local kite fighting tournament to prove that he has the makings of a man. His loyal friend Hassan promises to help him for he always helps Amir. But this is 1970s Afghanistan and Hassan is merely a low caste servant who is jeered at in the street. I've wanted to read this for ages and don't really have an excuse to why I've not done. So I'm going to try and read uh, The next book I want to read is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Hanya Yanagihara is Hawaiian. I don't think I've ever read a book by someone who's Hawaiian, so that would be nice. And yeah, this kind of just got raved about uh, and also massively criticised, so I'm kind of uh, intrigued to see which side of the fence I will fall on. I quite like reading books about mental illness as well, and I've heard that that is massively what makes up this book. So I would be interested to read how Yanagihara handles it. As I said when I got it, just it's just so beautiful, the spine. I can't get over how beautiful it is. The book says that when four classmates from a small Massachusetts college move to New York to make their way, they're broke, adrift and buoyed only by their friendship and ambition. There is kind, handsome William, an aspiring actor, JB, a quick-witted, sometimes cruel painter, pursuing fame in the art world, Malcolm, a frustrated architect at a prominent firm, and withdrawn, brilliant, enigmatic Jude, who serves as their centre of gravity. I don't really want to read much more because I don't want to get it ruined, but it is humongous, so yeah, this isn't one I think I'm going to get too soon. This is one that I think I'm going to read a chapter a night for the next six months and hope that that's enough to finish it. So that one and then the last book on this list not the last diverse book i want to read this year but the last of the ones i intend to start with is a mad and wonderful thing by mark mulholland who is an irish writer i have read some stuff by irish writers but not a whole lot so i do want to try and read more this one is about johnny donnelly an intense young man who is in love with books good start with his country and with the beautiful core of Flannery, but in his dark and secret other life, he shoots British soldiers. He is an IRA sniper. How can this be? As his two worlds inevitably move towards a dramatic collision, Johnny takes us on a journey through the history, legends and landscapes of his beloved Ireland. In the end, Johnny has to make sense of his inheritance and his life, and he does so in a riveting, redemptive and unforgettable climax. I'm really excited for this and I just think it's really really pretty like it's not hardback it's paperback but it's like just really beautifully published and it's got these amazing French flaps that kind of make this road look like it lasts for ages so I really like that I think it's really pretty I'm really liking the French flaps at the moment so yes there is that one stay in the diverse reads that I want to get read I think they're the ones I'm hoping to read in the first six months of 2017 and then yeah I will come back with some more in the second half hopefully and hopefully I won't have to repeat some of them because I've been too lazy. The other one that I definitely do want to give a try actually though because I've just seen it on my shelf is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I read the first part of that and then put it down for some reason but yeah I would like to pick that up again and finish the trilogy so there is that one. Thank you very much for watching and yeah I hope you pick up some diverse books this year uh, and if you would like me to do reviews of any of these books once I've read them please just comment down below and let me know and I will do that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!